pop 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 persuadable. <laughs> it's a black screen. It's just you and me. Uh, that was awkward. I don't know what to do with that. What's going on? So we're going to talk about the Wu Chang uh, adjustments. And uh, the question is, is what tier do we think he's going to be, right? So you guys know that he's got that new skill, the infinite nirvana. That's what it's called, according to the announcement. And that's essentially his ability to throw that umbrella uh, before, w without him actually having to commit to the uh, teleport, right? So now he can send over an umbrella and decide, hey, do I want to go there or not? And uh, I definitely think it's going to be a game changer. I think we need to give it some time before we really judge whether Wu Chang is going to be a formidable opponent or not. And the reason being so is just remember sometimes with character adjustments, uh, it can take a little bit of time for certain people to fruition that sort of ability and that skill. Now, the problem is, is that there's going to be a lot of players who normally don't play Wu Chang who try this out and then say it's not good. The problem with that is that if you're not a Wu Chang main, you still have to learn the character in general before you can actually utilize the potential, right? So the best way to measure this is what Wu Chang mains are saying, not people who have never played Wu Chang, because with that being said, it's going to take time for them to learn the general skills of Wu Chang outside of just the normal buff in which we've seen. We also know that he has increased attack speed of his first attack after switching to dual soul mode. You guys can check that out yourselves. And we also know that the action speed of Wu Chang summoning skill, um, it's linked to the teleportation distance. So the shorter the distance, the faster the action speed. And uh, we also know that White Guard's palette destroying speed has been increased as well as Black Guard's movement speed. And uh, there's definitely been an improvement in Wu Chang's attack and knife judgment. So the question is, how good is he going to be? Before that, do you guys want to hear a joke about procrastination? <laughs> I'll tell you later. So the question is, what do we think about Wu Chang? Do we think that Wu Chang is going to be a formidable character? I think it's going to depend on the map that we utilize him on, a popular strategy within Lakeside and Moonlit that a lot of top tier Wu Chang users are using. They actually use teleport. And they use teleport because they down somebody, they teleport to another machine, and usually it's the mechanics doll if they get lucky, and then what they do is they use their ability to get back to the rocket chair. I'll show you a high tier player who is doing that. I think he's going to be very scary on the big maps because of white guard. The, the attack distance is so freaking large that it's going to be harder for some of these characters to transition on the bigger maps, and that's going to be something... Uh, that's that's in Wu Chang's favor. I kited a Wu Chang today for about 100 seconds for the Sears Owl, and I can guarantee you that if it wasn't for a Wu Chang, that would have been a lot longer because his white guard was able to get me from far away. How about we show you some gameplay and enjoy the live feed? All right, let's see what he does. All right, so this is the number 15 overall Wu Chang. You got two over there. You're going to have one in the middle and one at boat. They always seem to go. Beautiful job. Good job from the perfumer. Nice discipline. Good attack. Uh, took a good benefit to that attack recovery speed. This is going to be very difficult for him to get this perfumer, man. Just... He's going to wait for her to trigger this perfume. He's going to take advantage. Oh, okay, so we got the Seer Owl. <laughs> so he builds all the way up north, so we know that he has confined space. He saw that it was a mechanic, so he's going to switch over now. That's very important. Good eyesight. He saw that that was the mechanic. He's already, I think he's built, is he building, no, he's not building, 
insolence. Oh, yeah, you get the fucking pallet here. Beautiful. That would be nice if I could do that. Asshole. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Beautiful hit from the Wu Chang. And I get this mechanic down, put the mechanic on there. They're still down to three, three ciphers, though. Jesus, man, the decoding is ridiculous. So he's going to teleport. Interesting. So this is going to really give him the ability to use his ability. Go back over there. And then he's going to be able to... Oh, he missed it just by a little bit. Nope, he got it. Nope, he got it. I like that strategy. Using teleport instead. Not using peepers. Being able to teleport to somebody. That's uh, That was pretty cool. So he's going to bring the mechanic over here because they were trying to decode over here. And so this is going to isolate uh, their ability to really be able to take these ciphers down. So excellent game sense from the Wu Ching. Wu Ching is making sure that they don't think he's really trying to slow this down a little bit. He's not going to have that same ability. Um, and they may even just sacrifice this character because they're so far away, which seems like it's going to be the case. Uh, I think that Perfumer kind of screwed up. Um, you guys know I don't like saying that. Screwed up. But it seems like there's confusion. Actually, I shouldn't say the Perfumer screwed up. I'm going to take that back. I think the Perfumer thought somebody else was going to go into the rescue. Um, because she no longer, she doesn't have Tide Turner or anything. I think that was the Perfumer, right? So it's just a miscommunication that's going to happen in Legendary Rank Mode. So let me, let me check my words there. I don't usually like telling... Because it, cause if I say that that character screwed up, that's not fair. The character thought somebody else was going to go in for the rescue. It's not a screw up. They don't have voice communications. And I could see myself to look at that distance. Huh? Why don't that distance? So he literally just hit that person from super far away. That was nice. Going to go back on the perfumer. I think he's still trying to test that distance out a little bit. Nope. A little too far away. There are two ciphers. She's going to... Okay, so he's getting a feel on that distance. He's he's really maximizing it. He's, so he's kind of moving around to slow this decoding down. Misses it just by a little bit. Is able to get that down. Gets that first hit. He's trying to slow the decoding down. He knows that it's a big map and that people are spread out. So he's hitting them one by one. Trying to slow this game down. Slow the decoding down. Taking his time. Trying to make sure he can get everybody as a one hit. And he got the hit. Yep, that was a registered hit. So now they're all one shot. And he knows that they're not going to be healing each other because it's a big map. He's going to put one of them on the rocket chair. And this is where it's going to get interesting because he doesn't have, he's got teleport. He's building north and east. I mean, he's building north and I don't know where he's building after that. So the good thing is, is that he's going to be able to prevent the rescue because everybody's a one shot. Excellent game sense. He's got to be careful about a pop though. You get the coordinator stun. That person's going to move over there. They get the tide turner. See, that's such a broken. He really has to keep just hitting. Oh my god, what? 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 Are you kidding? I know. Amazing gameplay, right? I was so shocked on Twitch when I was watching that. I was just silent forever. I couldn't believe that the Wu Chang was able to come back in that situation and uh, and really be able to pull off that victory. I think Wu Chang is going to be dangerous. I think his, his maximal potential will be A tier. We'll see if he gets to that point. Um, in about two or three weeks, we'll run some data. We'll see what's what's happening in the highest tiers on, on some of the other servers. We'll take a good look at that. And uh, more importantly, we'll continue observing content and feedback from uh, some of these high-tier players. You guys should definitely check me out on Twitch. We review high-tier gameplay. Uh, a few nights out of, the, out of the week, 
where we all just kind of sit back and we watch some other high tier players, top ten players of uh, different characters play. Uh, I think one of the the things that I uh, kind of annoy me is when people are like, "Oh, well, high tiers do this, high tiers do that," but you're not watching it yourself. So really, you're just relying on other people to tell you how these sort of players are playing. When in reality, you could sit back and chill with us, chill with us as a community. We usually get anywhere between uh, 40 and 70 active viewers on Twitch, and we're just chilling and we're watching the game play and we're learning from it how to become better players. And uh, I take requests from the from the viewers and ask them, you know, which hunter do you want to watch right now? And uh, sometimes survivors, but survivor gameplay can be boring if there's not a lot of action in there. But definitely come check us out. What do you guys think Wu Chang is going to be? Give your predictions. Don't worry. You don't got to worry if you're right or wrong. But tell me what you think, all right?